Ankh here, today with the War Crimes deck. This deck is just chock full of death, destruction, and war crimes against the superheroes at large. And it works pretty well, actually. You know, it's definitely more of a fun deck. Of course, this is not going to be a tier one deck. There's only a couple tier one decks out there, uh, and this isn't it. But it's got some nice surprise factors because you can end the game early. You do magic in this deck if you have it, and you also have Reality Stone because of Thanos. So there's a way you can end the game early with that. Uh, people are just not expecting Spider-Man 2099. It's kind of hard to pull off the combo. You have Ghost Spider. You also have the Space Stone, which is another cool aspect of the Thanos. And that's kind of the thing about Thanos. It's kind of necessary for this deck to work. It helps make sure that you have energy with cards like Psylocke or Time Stone. Uh, you have the Reality Stone, which is really good at you know, tricking your opponent with the magic, if you so desire. But the magic's kind of there because you got a lot of heavy cards in this deck as well, and having that extra turn can make a lot of a difference. Null's often pretty solid because you end up destroying a lot of your cards, your opponent's cards, Killmonger, Carnage, Gambit, Shang-Chi. So, again, it's just kind of one of those weird decks people are just not expecting the cards that you have, and they often edge out your opponent's cards on average. Uh, and then, of course, you just got Eliath to top things off when you are dominating and winning. And that's a war crime in itself, right? So, <laughs> like and subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the games. Okay, Ghost Spider specifically for Spider-Man 2099. So we don't want to play that out turn one. It's okay. We don't really have a good four power play. Gambit, I guess, because of Iceman, but I'd kinda rather hold on to the Psylocke right now. Because I wanna play magic next turn on curve. I think that's better. I don't mind the stone that much. Since this is just a bounce deck, it looks like. Another power stone. In case they do fight for it, we'll change it. Like if they just play like a falcon plus one of their infinity stones. Falcon's two energy, right? I'd rather not have the rock. I mean, sure we have carnage. But I may not want to play carnage. We can end the game early, if we so desire. Do I like Gambit? Not really, because they're probably going to play Beast <laughs> and throw all that back in their hand. And then it's like, two out of three chance, I hit something pretty meh. And then a one out of three chance, I hit something really bad. Just don't have much of a play here. Chance of us having Thanos is pretty slim. Kind of like the idea of holding on to the Reality Stone in case I do want to end it early. Interesting. Oh, well, well. I'm just gonna play Ghost Spider, I think. Just don't know. That I'll get the opportunity to play Spider Man 2099 rather just. Spend the energy now. Opponent snapped. Are they going to try and end the game early? Those decks typically don't have anything that changes locations, right? Scarlet Witch Rhino would be kind of weird. Are they anticipating that I will end the game early? They think I'm causing some trickery with my Reality Stone? We have a priority, so we can play a Lyoth plus Reality Stone. 
is pretty solid. I think it's a fun chance. It's kind of a 50-50. LA. Like, they could split up the power right now. <laughs> this land is always changing. Wow. They were not expecting that. That was a war crime. Oh, that was such a bad... Uh, like, look at this board. It's such a bad board. But somehow, we pulled it off. They were a cool dog before, but they went awfully silent. Destiny will arrive. Destiny will arrive. <laughs> I'm gonna make... I'm about to make half of your board disappear. Uh... We don't really mind the rock, honestly, because carnage. But we can bait it out like we don't want it. Not too much to do with four energy, it's more of just a tempo play. There's nothing to gambit, so I guess we'll just do that. Soulstone's too good to destroy with a carnage. The next? That's two games in a row with Corvus Glaive. Interesting. Game is just not that great here because it's 50 50, it hits a rock. But it's kind of my only play. Guess I could play nothing. It's not particularly great. Playing the Gambit down is kind of meh. Anyway. Okay, and they have a bunch of swarms. So I'm assuming this is a hella deck. This is the second deck in a row. It looks like the exact same deck as last time. Or at least the same concept. Um, well, Gambit's a little better now because... At least we have a chance of hitting something good. Two out of three, not just a 50-50. I don't really mind if we lose Noel or Shang-Chi, to be honest. Whatever. Spider-Man. Totally cool. Okay. Makes my Noel more powerful. Kinda like that. If they have Hella, we probably just lose, right? But there's not much more of a play, like, okay, we could play Shang-Chi to potentially kill their big stuff, like their, what, Magneto. But if they have exactly Hela, probably just lose. Okay, they're searching for it. Minions there it is. If they didn't get Hello, we probably would have won. Because they would have had 9 power right. It was a, a 1 and 3. They still had 3 cards in their deck. So, the odds were in our favor, actually. At least in terms of what actually was in their hand, but probably overall the odds were not in our favor. Got the Mind Stone. Is one of the best stones to get, turn one, in a Thanos deck. Ongoing power is doubled here. Double null. Other than that, double <laughs> power stone, I guess. We get, Psylocke turn two is not good in this deck specifically. We only have one four energy card, Chong Chi. A naked Hulkbuster. I must be drawing pretty bad for that to happen. Um, I kind of like Mojo World being up because we have a lot of opportunities to destroy stuff. 
Make sure they don't have it decked out. We have Null on this deck, so I'm sure they have their own Null, but they may not be expecting us to have a Null. Uh, I kind of like Gambit. There's nothing in my hand I particularly need. Destroying the Venom is pretty solid. Good, totally fine. It's considering killmongering myself. Just do that to make sure. So we might play a reality stone and end it early if we do draw it next turn. Um, that would be beautiful because we can reality stone plus a lieth. is the play. Force out whatever they have if they have null. Expose it to the Shang-Chi potential. I was about to say, if they do have Arnim Zola, kind of messes up their Zola. Ooh. I mean, Wolverine getting destroyed is not that bad, but lost your Killmonger. Hopefully, Wolverine doesn't get destroyed again. Right, go left. Enough set. Middle. <laughs> nice. Pretty big knoll. We have a pretty big knoll. Oh man. Well, they have one card. They can't win metal. So if we just play Eliath left, we win. Or Knoll left. Victory. Yeah. Unless they drew like a Shang-Chi, I guess. Even then, we'd win Knoll left. Okay. And draw a single stone. It's a little unfortunate. I think for tempo's sake, we just play this out. It's pretty meh. Maybe we don't, because if we get the rock, we can destroy it with carnage. Okay. Well, if they don't play anything, Gambit just discards a card for no benefit. So, maybe we're just better off playing Psylocke? We can play Spider-Man early if we want. Spider-Man 2099. Well, that wouldn't have destroyed it, right? Since it's technically on my side now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna guess they're gonna play Hobgoblin next turn. So, what I'm gonna do... I know this kind of messes up my combo potentially, but the combo is not likely to succeed anyway. Sure. That they probably play Hobgoblin. They do play Hobgoblin. If priority it really sucks. Won't get destroyed by whatever. Still, we're taking a risk though if we do this. Man, I hate Dream Dimension. It's just so awkward that we have priority. Because they're almost certainly gonna hobgoblin. Just hope it doesn't hit the carnage. One and four.
Okay, well they didn't have goblin. Problem with Shang Chiing this. Self priority. Really annoying. Uh, is that we just still don't have quite the power? Like we can do that. That's pretty solid actually, but it's not super amazing. Annihilus. Hey, this beat a tier one Galactus junk deck, so not too shabby. This is, um, as far as I could tell, it's the exact same deck list I got to infinite with. So, hey. Eh? We'll look out for the Professor X. These avatars often suggest what they're playing. Not always. Not always. But usually. Confident, are we? Okay. I'm not super confident with this hand, but I'll see it out for an extra cube. Also, it always feels really good to like snap after they've already snapped. Most people uh, stick to their guns. So I like turn two is just so meh. Gives us one more card we could potentially discard with Gambit if we so desire to play Gambit. I think the Psylocke would not be bad at all. We can get a lot of energy next turn. We play a 6-drop, if we so desire. It's not too shabby. The unfortunate thing is, the only one we have in hand right now is Eliath. Probably don't want to play. You're confident, and then this is like a Dark Hawk deck? Yuck. <laughs> well, there's Thanos. Do we want to just play a casual Thanos out? Do we want to mess with them and play Dark Hawk middle? It's kind of fun. Kind of the whole point of this deck. <laughs> Nice. Sure. Clear for takeoff. Can Shang Chi that? That's what we probably want to do. that's the play. So what do they got, like an Iron Heart? I mean... This... <laughs> plus that? <laughs> that would have been uh, probably a victory, because I don't think they would have played hard in the middle. You never know. But... I don't think so. I feel like we could drop the Thanos from this deck, and it would still be good, maybe even better. I like turn two is just so bad. I guess we could go Spider. Oh, <laughs> I really hate a naked Carnage onto nothing. We don't have to do anything, I guess we could just Gambit next turn. More stuff that we could potentially discard. Okay. Unreveal doesn't happen, and I can't play it there! Oh. Brutal. Then our gambit play is not as good. It's kind of our best play. Oh! 
We got the Spider-Man Ghost Spider combo. If we can do next turn, actually, because of Psylocke. I guess that's the reason why Thanos is pretty good. Is you get, uh, you know, a Time Stone as well. That's another opportunity to play stuff out early, like Spider-Man plus Ghost Spider. Although we can't pull it here, we can't even use it. Like we can destroy a rock if we wanted, which would be terrible. Oh. Oh well, well. I guess uh, if we're gonna do that, we should do this order. In case they do skip a turn. I mean, they're locked in, right? So they just lose to a life. Like, unless they have blue marvel, and even then, they're only getting four power. I would snap, but I'm pretty sure this would scare them away. I'll take the two cubes. Is there anything else they could do that would make them win right? Like, claw? I guess if they claw, it's what, six power? We lose to exactly claw, which actually is a possibility. I don't know what their deck is exactly. Uh. Kinda risky, but not really. They could claw plus another like two power card because of Sarah. Is that what it is? Okay. What was their what they playing? How could they play something there? Oh, because this is two with Sarah. They could play a five, which is a four. So some kind of four drop? Okay. Not two shabs.